Happy Thursday, everybody. Who wants to hear about Arctic Linux? Well, if you're watching this video, that's what you're going to hear about. Nothing too in-depth. I'm just going to do a little brief overview of my thoughts on it that I've uh, kind of gathered over the past couple months and just kind of let you know what I think about it. So if you know me or my channel and you've been watching for any period of time, you know I started to do a couple of long-term distro reviews. The first one was on Void Linux. Um, I was working on Arco at the time. Um, that was my distribution of choice. Um, I did a long-term distro review on Void Linux and ended up staying there because I loved it so much. Well, when I did that long-term review, I was actually kind of tossing things up in my head, whether I was going to do Void or whether I was going to do Artix. And I settled on Void because it was a little more different than Artix was from my current Arch install or Arco install, excuse me. So I went with Void. And long story short, had that reversed and I had gone with Artix instead of Void on that first long-term review, uh, my last video I put out would have been how Artix Linux stopped my distro hopping as opposed to how Void stopped my distro hopping. Artix Linux is a great distribution. It has all the stuff I enjoyed about Arch Linux, and it also has the init system or the ability to install the init system that I love from Void Linux. Um, you have access to the AUR like you do on Arch Linux. The install process is extremely similar to Arch Linux. Um, you have the forums and the community that you have with Arch Linux. Well, I will say on a side note, the, the, the community for Arch Linux can be a little RTFME, um, which is a bit much for me, but you know, there is a lot of help out there if you are willing to put in the work first and go and then go find it. But uh, that being said, um, Artix Linux has been a great distribution. I have thoroughly enjoyed having it on my system. Um, if we actually launch a terminal here and we run NeoFetch, um, you can see I've still got it up and going. It's Artix Linux um, on my HP Envy. Uh, it's got the uh, 6.0.7 Artix kernel. Um, excuse me, I'm running the uh, Qtile window manager on it. Um, and it's just been extremely fast. It's been extremely, extremely stable. And I haven't had any issues. I love the fact that it's a rolling release like Arch. Um, I like the fact that it's got its Artix repositories. But if you also, let's CD into ETC. And then we're going to vim into pacman.conf. And let's zoom in a little bit. If you actually scroll down here in your pacman.conf, you can add the other repositories. So you can have the normal Arch repository in there along with the Arctic repositories. Um, it uses um, the AUR just like Arch does. So you have access to all the stuff that you had on Arch and then some because you have those Arctic packages. Um, so that's something that's great about it. The documentation on it is pretty darn good. Um, if we go to artixlinux.org, um, I can't be reached. What did I misspell it? Yep, I did. A R T I X L I N U X dot O R G. There we go. Simple, fast, and system D free. That's what, that right there is one thing I like about it big time. Now, again, I'll say I don't have any issues with systemd. I'm not a systemd hater. I'm not the person that's been, oh, I need to get off systemd. It's bloated, blah, blah, blah. But I will say after getting away from systemd and using run it, um, the setup of system services and the boot time is just, I can't, I can't get over it. That's got to be my hands down favorite thing about it. And Artix having the ability to put in run it like void has is just great um, it gives you options for other init systems as well you can use um, s6 uh, openrc i think there's one or two more um, but anyway the documentation is great you have the wiki here if you click on the wiki um, it'll take you to the wiki page you've got all kinds of information here you obviously have access to the arch wiki which let's be honest anybody who uses linux period uses the arch wiki whether they're on an arch based distro or not um, but you have your forums here so if you go on the artix forum you can go and find all kinds of information here um, it's going to take a bit to open up but um, so you've got all kinds of stuff going on on the artix forum um, the install process is great um, it gives you configuration um, information here um, you got troubleshooting information um, the the website and the documentation is just very well done um, I found it very easy to find the information I needed when I ran into um, issues which was very few and far between um, but that being said Artix Linux is a great distribution I highly recommend if you're looking at something that's um, systemd free and something that um, 
is just fast and is going to work for you. I would highly recommend Artix. If you want something that is, you know, close to Arch Linux, if you're an Arch Linux user, I definitely recommend Artix. Um, if you want something that's a little bit easier to install, I would go on the Void side. Um, the Ncurses installer of Void, uh, Ncurses style installer on Void is, is a little more user friendly for the new user as opposed to the Arch style install on Artix Linux. With that being said, if you want to learn a little bit more about your system, um, I would definitely definitely go with the Arctic side because that install process really kind of teaches you how to do things and what things are, uh, what things are needed to actually have your system running. So that being said, again, Arctic's great distribution. Um, I highly recommend it. Had I not done void Linux on my first long-term review, I would have been camped out in Arctic's right now. Um, it is great. Um, I thoroughly enjoy it. So it's going to stay on my system. Uh, there's a few things, a few window managers that I've found easier to install on um, Arctic than I have on void. Not that I'm switching window managers. Um, I am camped out in the window manager of choice. Um, I'm not going to give it away, although if you watch my channel, you probably already know what it is, But because uh, I am putting out um, a series of videos coming up on my top five window managers. Um, and so you'll see it in that. But um, some of them, some of the more obscure window managers that you can find on like GitHub aren't as easy to install on Void as they are on Arch and are on Artix. Um, so I want to be able to go over those and review those. So I'm going to keep Artix installed just uh, to play around in and stuff. But Void is home. Um, again, uh, nothing bad against Artix, but um, I just had to get back on Void after my system worked. But that being said, Artix Linux, I highly recommend it. It's a great distribution. Um, again, if it wasn't for Void, I'd be cap camped out over here. So that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, just stay safe for the rest of this week. We're looking forward to Thanksgiving next week. Woohoo! Turkey Day. All right. You guys have a great time. God bless.